Hello again. More mail for me? Yes. Here you go, Miss Eastman. Did you watch the movie yet? Huh? Did ya? Did ya? Nope. Not yet, I'm afraid. When you do, let me know what you think of it. You know, it's good to see you. That's nice to hear. Because I have a sneaky little plan. Oh, we're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at, at five today. Uh, is that the plan? No, but it's where I'll discuss the plan. You in? All right. All right. <laughs> I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place. It's 102 New Street, right? Yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name in the Rolodex. Your parents are regular clients. I guess, but... It's settled then. See you at five, partner. Là, ok, j'ai rendez-vous avec elle. Ouais, on a des petites euh, quêtes secondaires aussi, d'ailleurs, euh, sur la partie d'avant. On m'avait confié un chat que j'ai dû amener au vétérinaire et il euh, faudrait que j'aille le chercher, justement. Euh, euh, J'irai le chercher après mes livraisons. Hein. Le chat, d'ailleurs, il est ici. Voilà, le petit point d'exclamation, c'est des quêtes euh, secondaires. Déjà, je vais aller livrer tout ce que j'ai à livrer. Ah non, c'était celle-là alors. Ooh, interesting. Oui, il y a plus d'autres automatiques. Bon, bah non. Euh, je peux pas mettre euh, le petit point. Bah non, apparemment ça veut pas. Bon, bah c'est pas grave. Il y a un ballon de basket. Moi, je pense pas que je pourrais jouer. Non. Oh là là, c'est pas bien. Je rentre chez les gens comme ça.
tac, tac, tac. Bah, celui-là, je pense que je le ferai après. Euh, je vais aller à gauche en premier. Que, euh, la mamie qui m'a confié son chat, je ne sais plus. Je crois que la mamie, euh, elle était vers là en fait. Hein. Je me dis à la limite, autant aller à droite, comme ça je peux faire le chat et je vais directement à gauche ensuite. Je pense que ce serait peut-être plus sage même. Bon bah alors du coup, je vais aller à droite. J'aurais dû passer à gauche. Ça m'aurait évité de faire un petit demi-tour. Et le lac. C'est bien. Je vais pas me prendre un truc. That's lighter than I thought. Nope. No answer. Euh, j'en fais quoi moi du colis Ah non, là je peux pas. Hope nobody comes and steals this. C'est risqué, hein, quand même, hein, de déposer ça comme ça. chercher le colis au loin et sur le retour je vais aller chercher le petit chat Tartiné, si je dis pas de bêtises <rire> oh là là oh là là Hi, Maureen. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fun day? I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Doesn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. How's life treating you, darling? Well, being back feels a bit strange. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yes, she told me. How did that go for you? Uh, I think I put my foot in it, to tell you the truth. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you, especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? Well, this diner sure did. Glad you noticed. I like what you did oh, with the place. Bien ce style yeah. de restaurant. I decided ancienne. it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh my gosh, Maureen, Stan died? 
I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been ten years already. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, did I love that man. <sighs> We'd been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did, for me, but also for Kay. <sighs> she took her uncle's death pretty hard. I wish I'd known. Oh, sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? I can't recall. Oh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. Oh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. It was good to see her again. I've missed her too. Then, it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. <laughs> Venant de quelqu'un qui a oublié ma tarte à la, mer à la merci. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Ashley? What happened to that pie? I'm so sorry, honey. I swear that kid. Uh, ça ne va pas du tout ça. J'espère bien manger une part de tarte à la prochaine fois. Parce que ça fait deux fois qu'elle me fait le coup. Hein. La première fois, la cuisine, elle a cramé. <laughs> Et là, bah, je ne sais pas. Je... Uh, c'est pas grave, j'ai pas envie de tarte de toute façon. Uh, well, that's no good. I expect pie next time. Ha! Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. <laughs> je veux ma tarte. Ça va pas, ça. Là, je reviens pas de ce bleu. Oh. Hi there, Mr. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. A good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? I'm having fun, yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day.
couper la musique. C'est que quand je coupe la musique, ben c'est très très calme. Madame au chat. Look who's back! Mortimer! Oh, look at you! You're good as new! Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm, I suppose he's right. It's, it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. Mm -hmm. Succès déverrouillé. Ah oh, bah j'adore les chats. Donc... Je peux venir en aide. <rire> Euh, non, c'est celle-ci, comme boîte aux lettres. C'est le garage. Allez, un petit tour en forêt. Oh, J'aime bien avec la cascade, là, le petit chalet et tout. Oh là 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 là. Je me plairais bien, moi, devant un endroit comme ça. There's a face I remember. Good morning, Mr. Harris. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. More bull crap? Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lake sign for years. And now they're gonna bulldoze it and build apartments. Oh no. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss. Ah, oh, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down Town Hall. <laughs> Nothing a chainsaw can't handle. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well... Maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. Good day, Mr. Ah, Harris. Un, ça cause à 100%, là. Hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. Maybe you'd want to go through all the files together? Tomorrow afternoon? At Moe's? Food and drinks on me. Mm, sure. Who can say no to food and drinks at Moe's? Awesome. I'll see you there then. 
I'll bring all the paperwork. Okay. Bye. Si je me prends le poteau, ça va pas aller. Euh, tac, 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 tac. Moi, je peux passer par les forêts, histoire de faire un petit tour. Ça pourrait être sympa. On va découvrir le paysage un petit peu quand même. J'aime bien comme petit village, c'est sympa. Pas très bien garé. Hein? No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you with your computer background. All right, I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science. Life of Python. <laughs> Brian. Brian. Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. Well, I'm off duty. For a while. Good for you. So... Any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? It's complicated. Multiple reasons, I guess. Push and pull. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Then, yeah. Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> Sure is. It's quieter for one thing, slower for another. Yeah, those are the two things I like best about it. Me too, I think. It took some getting used to. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean... For free? Yeah. You know the town. You're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look, it's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. Wow. This is the future of entertainment. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it.
Okay, but what's the revenue model here? Oh, you! Not everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Which, I guess, is ultimately about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and a nightmare on Elm Street. This one is the about classica. murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. Grace. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it for now. If you're in, that is. So, you in? All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. Oh, just have another cup of coffee. I'd love to, but I really can't. Thursday's usually one of the busiest days. Sorry, but I'll see you soon, okay? Bye, babe. Yeah. Hello? Hey, Meredith. Hey, Dad! How's life? I heard something about poker, fishing, and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to Mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Uh, Frank's quite the character indeed. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He likes baseball a bit too much. He places a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. And what about Bert Mackey? Bert. Uh, Bert doesn't like to talk much. But he's got a heart of gold. Stay on his good side. Speaking of staying on the good side, your mom's telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand By Me, about four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. Alors, <coughs> ah oui, c'est le film euh, que la... À la fin du vidéo club, elle me disait de regarder. Travailler sur les documents. Euh... Bon. Je ne vais pas la faire travailler, là encore. Allez, elle va regarder le film. All right, well, let's watch this. Retour à la poste. Oh bah il pleut. Bon bah voilà. Une nouvelle journée commence encore. Euh, du coup, bah j'espère que ça vous a plu. N'hésitez pas à me dire ce que vous en pensez. Euh, voilà, donc c'est vraiment un petit jeu euh, original, euh, sympa à faire, très coloré. Ouais, c'est assez tranquille, hein, mais euh, c'est bien, ça change aussi. En tout cas, moi j'aime beaucoup. Donc sur ce, je vous dis à bientôt pour de prochaines vidéos.